My name's Ryan Trix. How old are you? I'm 28. My son is 28. Oh, amazing. And what do you do for a living? I actually work in a sewage treatment works. So don't flush wipes down the toilet because I have to clean it out over the pumps. <laughs> and why are you here tonight? Why? Well, I actually do magic. And I just thought this year is the year for AGT. It's the biggest platform. And to show my son that if you have a dream, you can go out, get it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything in life. You have a son already. Yes, I have one son who's six, and I have a daughter that's just turned one. I just want a good life for them, so yeah. Good. Okay, so we're very excited that you're here and we want to see your match. Amazing. You all ready? Yes. yes. Yeah. Amazing. So from watching this show, as I love America's Got Talent, I realized that you, Simon, and Howie are BFFs. We love each other. We do. I know, from watching the show, no, right? we actually do. But they say a friendship will only last if they have a subconscious connection. So I want to test out your subconscious connection up on stage right now, Simon and Howie, in front of America. So come on, come up. You up, bro? Come on. Lovely to meet you, Simon. Welcome. Lovely to meet you. You good? We've never done this before. No. It's like never. Being, it's like being Amazing. on a date. It is. I'm really nervous. Scream if you guys need help. We'll run and get you. Yeah. Thank you. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So now, as you can see, I have two decks of cards here and a blindfold. So Simon, you're the boss. So choose the red deck or the blue deck. The blue deck. Perfect. So as you can see, we'll get rid of the box. These are all different, yes? Yeah. Perfect. Face down like this for you, Simon. Yeah. And now, how will you get the red deck? Okay. We don't need the box. Okay. As you can see, these are all different, yes? Yes. Incredible. Now I'm going to place these face down. Okay. Now the reason for this is because it's going to be your subconscious choice of choosing a card. So hold out your finger over the deck for me like this, both of you, and go left to right for me, left to right, over the deck. Do the same, left to right. And now I want you to look each other in the eyes for me. Whenever you want, place your finger down on one card in your own time. Perfect. And Howie, what one do you want? This one. Perfect. Okay. Now this is the thing. If you had a connection, then these two cards must match. So take the cards, don't look at them just yet. Take them, pick them up, don't look at them, hold them against your chest. On the count of three, you're gonna show the audience. One, two, three, show the audience. Have a look, have a look, have a look. A perfect match. There we go, right there, a miracle. Incredible. Amazing. But wait, see this way it's interesting because I want to take this a step further. So Howie, yes. here I have a blindfold. Please oh. could you put this on for me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now Howie, I'm just going to touch the back of your hand. You don't mind, do you? Not the back. Can you feel this pressure here? I do feel that. Good. Howie, take a deep breath in and out. We're going to see whether you two are connected. Do you feel this pressure, Howie? Yes. Good. Take a deep breath in. Now, Howie, you're doing great. When you feel this pressure come off, raise your hand slowly to a height of a wine bottle. Only when you feel this pressure come off. Okay. Interesting. Howie, when you feel this pressure come back down, when you feel this pressure come back down, place your hand back down to the table. Okay. Amazing. But wait, but wait, that was me controlling your mind. We're going to see whether you're in sync. Simon, it's in your hands. Point like this. Simon, whenever you want, you're going to control Howie's hand. Just raise your hand slowly in your own time. So I'm controlling Howie. Whenever Howie's. you want. <laughs> this is incredible. Perfect. Thank you so much, Howie. You're doing great. Now I've got you two in sync. I want to try the last experiment to see whether you are actually subconsciously connected. Simon, as you can see, I have loads of things here, right? Yeah. Now, I want you to choose one of them. Any one you want, just choose one. Perfect. We're going to get rid of that now. Yeah. Hold it in your right hand like this for me. Now, Howie, turn your right hand palm towards the sky for me. Now, just in your imagination, you imagine holding something inside your hand. You focus on the texture, the color, the shape of this thing. Do you imagine something inside your hand now? Yes. What do you imagine holding? A uh, cookie. A cookie. Take off your blindfold and have a look what I've just handed Simon. A cookie. There we go. You guys have a subconscious connection. Look at that. How's that done? That was incredible.
Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you very much. It feels really good to be back. I'm here to apologize, and I want to show you that I've grown. I hope you find it in your hearts to forgive me for my past discretions. Well, listen, didn't need to apologize, but I appreciate you doing that. So, welcome. Thank you very much. Are you performing the same thing that you did when you came the first time? No, 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 no. That, that didn't go so well for me the last time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. So, for those of you here, I do want to apologize. Terry, I know you weren't here last time, but honestly, I wouldn't have made fun of you anyway. You truly shine. You and Howie clearly go to the same barber, just not the same gym. <laughs> Howie, what? look at that marvelous head. You weren't born, you were hatched. <laughs> Howie, I'm sorry, these are just jokes. Remember when you were a comedian? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Heidi, I'm so sorry you're not here, but I understand why you can't be here today. You are a Sports Illustrated model, and I'm sure you're off on their seniors tour. <laughs> On to the lady who puts the more in a more. Hello, Sophia Vergara. Hello. I love you. Oh, come on, that's not very fair. <laughs> and finally, from beauty to beast. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Simon, how are you a vegan and that's the least annoying thing about you? <laughs> I will say I am so excited for your new movie. What's it called? Fifty Shades of Tan? <laughs> In closing, Yes, I am sorry. I'm sorry that none of the judges were born in this country. So while America's got talent, it does not have a strong immigration policy. <laughs> My name is Brett Loudermilk, and uh, I'm a sword swallower. Oh. As if you didn't already know that. Uh, I need a woman from the audience to help me out. Let's see who we've got. Uh, Sophia. Can I please use you? Yeah, join me, join me over here, Sylvia. Up the stairs, thank you so much. Join me right over here. I'm not gonna swallow anything. No, 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 you... <laughs> you... No, no, no. No, wait, wait, stand right there. You and I are gonna swallow a sword. I'll, I'll swallow this word, you're gonna help, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place the sword into my throat and let go. I'm gonna hold it there with the muscles of my esophagus. I'll snap my fingers, open everything up. It's gonna drop down the rest of the way by itself. It's gonna bump. I'll bend myself into halves. I'll turn towards you and wink. When I wink, you grab the sword and you pull it out. No, I'm not yes! gonna have to pull it! Yes! <laughs> what if I kill you? <laughs> You were the wrong choice. Okay. Um, are you, <laughs> you ready? No. Just nice and slow. Okay. Okay, here we go. You have to watch. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My collar was too tight. Ready? Yeah, focus, focus! You focus, face me! <laughs> All right, here we go. No, I beg you, I can't! What part of when I wink did you not understand? I winked it! We're gonna try this again, no, okay? No, what if I put it in? Okay. My career has led to this. Here we go. Look at his face. Look at his face. I don't want to. I don't want to. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. He can't do it. Pull out the sword. 
hard. I can. <laughs> Just pull it out. It's stuck there. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not stuck. It's not stuck. I promise you. This is so easy. I promise. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last time. Okay. Here we go. The fear was atrocious. Well, you don't, don't know, know what, what it felt. Like when you touch it, it feels like it's stuck in there and I was going to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Do Is I, he finished? I, well, that's not his act. I've got more. No, she. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to see it back on stage? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> May I continue? So, I've decided to bring along this one. Now, this is what we call in the business a wiggly one. Now, because of its shape, when I swallow it, you're going to see the sword through my throat. No, no. Pull one out. Seriously? Yeah. No, do you, you I really want to pull one you out. You really want to pull yeah. one out? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on! Wait! Wait! Howie, would you do it too? Are you serious? Yeah, come serious. On. Would you do it too? Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask them. You need something. Hey. No. All three. All three. Wait. I already did it. Come on. Right, find your safety spot. Somebody shout out a number. Three perfect. All right. Good. Okay. It just so happens I that I have you. not one, two. not two, but three swords. Three swords. That I'm going to swallow at the same time because okay. you asked for it. Really? And each one of you is going to pull out a sword. I'm jazzing right now. This was not planned. I know. I know. Okay. I had right. no idea. Have you done this happen. before? I have a. No, it doesn't matter. Listen. You're going to put all three in your mouth? I'm going to swallow the three swords. You're going to pull out. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. Already... You're going to pull out the last one. Okay, so it's going to be. Are you sure about that? I, I, right as rain. Will you really wink for this? I'll, I'll wink. I'll wink. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go down the line with swords in. I've never done this before. Three at once. Three at once. The Here whole we go. Sword. All three. Here we go. Then we'll put no. You start with the top. Yeah, we'll go got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, three swords. Ah! Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let oh my god. Concentrate. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Really good, thank you. And what's your name, please? My name is Bana Vega. Let's rock and roll. Hit it, baby. Oh, that's great. great. OK. Uh, no questions. I'm scared. <laughs> are you scared? I have no 
idea. Again is uh, Bona Vega. Let me let me start with uh, Howie. When you came out with the makeup and you didn't talk and you opened and I see you wearing is that Miley Cyrus's outfit? Who is it? Should be right. Yeah, but when I saw you wearing that, I thought this is going to be a joke. And you are so far this season my biggest surprise. Wow. I had no idea. Yes. Thank you. I mean, it's rock and roll. It's camp. It's theater. It's the, the and and you have a mullet. I'm not, I'm not trying to rub it in, you know. <laughs> uh, Heidi. I just love everything about you. I really do. I mean, Thank it you. just blew my mind. I also love that you don't really overthink what you're wearing or how you look. You don't think that's <laughs> overthought? I think you really thought <laughs> you don't, what That you doesn't seem wearing. underthought. This, outf this outfit's for you, okay? I love it. I love everything about you. And you sang fantastic on top of it. Thank you so much. Full package. Truly, thank you. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, can you tell where I am? I got a clue. <laughs> I'm at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas with this incredible view behind me of the strip. Now, judges, you first met Max when he performed his magic and mentalism on the online auditions we did. Since I can't be there with you physically, you know, on the stage, I'm gonna try to connect with you guys mentally. Are they diamantes? Oh wow. my God! Wow. <laughs> I grew up in a really small town. From an early age, I kind of had the ability to read people, kind of sense what was going on in situations. To kind of entertain myself, I would always kind of put on little shows for my family and my neighbors, and started to get a little name around town. And when I was 14 years old, I got my big break. My neighbor hired me to perform for their daughter's sixth birthday. My dream my entire life has been to have my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. And so really, I spent the last 20 years kind of honing this skill set. I finally made the move to Vegas to pursue my dreams, but I had no opportunities to perform. Part of my identity is being a performer, and when, and when suddenly you can't do that thing that you identify so heavily with, you feel like you've lost a part of yourself. And so, uh, excuse me, <laughs> it was really tough. Um, 
Now being asked by the judges to perform again, I feel an insane amount of pressure. This is what the last 20 years have been about. I gotta show them something they've never seen before so I can get one of those final spots in the live shows. The last time that I performed you guys, I performed for Sophia and Simon mentioned that he'd like to be involved next time. And so I thought tonight, Simon, I'd actually try and get inside of your head. Are you up for it? Yeah, could be a scary place. <laughs> but before we begin, I want to point out this envelope that's on the table here. This is going to become very important at the end of my act. But for now, I'm going to leave it over here where you guys can keep your eye on it the entire time, OK? Simon, on the table, what I want you to notice is that I have a number of photos of you and your fellow judges. I'd like to see them here. Yep. Howie there. I'm going to lay them out on the table so you can get a good look at all of them. Heidi, photo of yourself right there. Sophia. And of course, America's favorite host, Terry Crews. <laughs> and then at the top of your screen, you guys will see we have a matching set of photographs that are currently face down. So the object tonight, Simon, is for you to feel a connection to your fellow judges through the photos, through the screen. Okay. Now, before we begin, I need to understand the way that you're wired and the way that you think. So I'm curious, Simon, what is a personality trait that you admire most in another person? Loyalty. In that case, I think we'll start with this one. Simon, I want you to tell me who you're feeling a connection to right now. Terry. Terry, you can see how this starts to shape up. Simon, what is something that you own that you wouldn't sell for any amount of money? The first picture of my son, Eric, being born lying on my chest. Oh. Beautiful. I want to see that. Me too. Starting to understand how you're wired. I'm going to go with this one right here. Tell me, which judge are you feeling a connection to right now? Sophia. I like that you're taking the time to really feel these connections. Um, Simon, one last question. What is your most vivid memory from your childhood? Perhaps a story you've never told anyone. Getting my first Skeletrix car set. You call it slot racing here. Oh, In England, yeah. we yeah. call it Skeletrix. It's a car racing set. We'll go with this one right here and tell me now, who are you feeling a connection to? Howie. Howie. Uh, Slide like cars with my favorite. Come on now, where would you like this one to go, Heidi or yourself? Heidi. Heidi. We're going to place that right there. And then one final photo, of course. Me. They're right in front of you, yep. Now, Simon, you have a very important decision to make. I'm going to count to five. When I get to five, you're going to tell me whether you want to leave everything as it is or whether you want to switch any two photographs. It's up to you. I'm going to count to five, and then you'll let me know. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to keep them where they are. You're going to trust your instincts and keep them where they are. I'm glad yeah. you said that, because what you'll notice is that over here on the end, you actually matched Howie with Howie. <laughs> over here on the end, you matched Heidi with Heidi. Over no. here, you ah. matched Simon with Simon, no. Sophia with Sophia, oh. and Terry with Terry. Oh. That is five ah. for five, a perfect match. But look, look, look. I told you guys I would raise the bar. Okay. And tonight, I wanted to go not just for improbable, but impossible. And I made my boldest prediction ever, and I placed it over here inside of this envelope. And I asked you to name a personality trait you love in a person, and your answer was loyalty. Oh. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, we continued on. I asked you for a memory, something you said you would never forget, and you said it was a picture of your son, oh. Eric. Now, then I asked you for a memory, something from your childhood, something no one could know. And you told me it was getting your first car set. Oh. You want some more talent? I want some more talent. Keep watching and subscribe.